You know, this is the end of 2022. We only have two weeks left before 2023. And looking back at the last year for CHAT, it's been incredibly successful. We've hired new employees. We've got many, many more houses with many more people off the street. We now have four homes of four bedrooms with veterans in it. So we've been very, very successful in growing CHAT and having the community see that growth with us. And now we're looking at getting very, very close to having Everhart Village be a reality. We've got the tours in, the water's coming in, we have the electricity coming in. It's taken a while to put this all together. When we first envisioned this, we worked with the county and got all our permits and everything that we could actually do what we're doing right now. We had estimated about $1.1 million to bring all the resources in here, the buildings, the, the community center, do all of the work, asphalt, everything we needed to do. And now it's about $1.5 million because of what has happened in our economy. Uh, we're hoping that now that some of those prices actually will go down and be more reasonable, but the reality is it's going to be about 1.5 million. So you can see what we've done here so far, and our next steps, again, are to finish off our little cabins for people that'll have a bathroom, a kitchen, a sink, a heating, air conditioning. Those are all being built right now off-site. We'll be bringing them here once these pads are complete and we can hook up to the sewer, the water, the electricity. But again, for next year, we're going to have to raise about $450,000 a year for staff. Again, we're looking at a substantial staff here, 24 hours a day. We're looking at security, 24 hours a day. We're looking at having to bring in food here. But you have all these other services that we're going to make available to make these people successful. And that's our next step. That's 2023 for us. But it takes money to keep people off the street. It takes money to make them be successful. It takes staff to make them be successful. And that's what we're looking at right now. We want all the people we bring in here to be successful, to move on into permanent housing, to understand again the need for their medication, understand why they have this illness and what they can do about it to be successful in life. And that's our goal, is to make people stay off the street, make people be happy and have some kind of, of life that's worthwhile. And I think we can do that right here with chat. It's heartfelt from all of chat, all the volunteers, all of the employees that, that we've had a community that has supported us the way they have over the last almost 10 years. We're hoping to have a celebration actually this September, October to celebrate our 10 years of being a nonprofit in the community of Chico and all that has happened and all the growth we've had and all the support we've had. And again, I can't say enough and the staff can't say enough, the volunteers can't say enough about how much we love Chico and how supportive they've been of what we do. Thank you.